Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you on how I make my aesthetic notion setup and a guide on how to make yours too. So this is my before notion setup. It is plain and kind of dull and boring and I think I'm not that productive in this and uh, I just rarely use my school or ACADS page. So with that, I thought why not make my notion setup aesthetic? And after a couple of days, I come up with this beach themed notion setup. This is my dashboard page, my ACADS. This is my YouTube page and my personal page. And lastly is my goals page. So yes. So as you open Notion, I will just put a link down in the description box. It will ask you to sign up. Just use your Gmail account. And if you have a school email, I think you can avail the personal pro for free that works on me. So here are the features of the subscriptions in Notion. And as you can see here, I don't need to pay $5 for the subscription since I used my school email. And you may try it if you have one. So this is just an additional tip if you want to have a cohesive Notion pages. I'd suggest that you search for some color palette. I will just link this colorhunt.co in the description box. As you can see here, you can also easily copy and paste the color codes. As you open Notion, it will give you a bunch of pages with templates, so just delete those and click the Add a Page option. So just type the title of the page, so I just named this Dashboard. So by clicking the three dots, it will show you different styles of fonts, so you can choose right there. And you can also turn on the Full Width option so that you can maximize the whole page. I'm just gonna add another page, so I will name it ACADS for my academics, YouTube, and my personal page and for my goals page so now let us first proceed to my ACADS page so for the first step is to add an icon so in here it's like the profile photo of your page so you can either choose an emoji you can upload an image or you can paste the link of the photo so with that, just search something on Pinterest. So I'm just gonna use this book. I just search beach icons on Pinterest. So you can either copy the link and paste it here. Just wait for a minute or you can download the image and upload it on your Notion. I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other pages and this is how they look like. By clicking the slash on your keyboard, you can easily make shortcut commands on Notion. So for the first one, press slash and type toggle. The content will only show if you click the toggle icon. Next is slash and table. A database will appear where you can arrange your data in a table style. You can also add some options and properties. After that is you can add a property on your table you can rename it and you can select a property type so in here just choose the select property With slash and h2 you can easily command that you're gonna input a heading so by highlighting the word and clicking the code in close icon it will show you this type of font so after you highlight the word you can click the cup slack a icon to choose a color so if you're doing your page you have to know what are your needs and with that you can arrange and organize them on your notion page by clicking slash and typing image it allows you to add image to your page again you can link it or upload an image to your notion page you can also resize it by clicking the gray line beside it by clicking the six dots beside the lines you can easily move that particular line with slash to do you can easily add a checkbox or a to-do list on your notion page you can also add a divider on your Notion page to set a boundary between the contents of your page. By typing slash turn with any command, it will turn that specific word or line into a new command. I'm just gonna rearrange some of the parts. 
So for my weekly schedule on how I made those columns, I type the days first. So after you type the weekdays or your school days, drag each one of them to the side and make sure that a blue vertical line will appear to make a column. So after you drag them, just resize each column. So this part can be tricky but you can just base on the video for further explanation and a clear explanation. And this is how they look like. Then just type in your subject and the time. Next is you can easily make background colors on numerous lines by highlighting them and you can choose now the color of your choice. So here I just decided to put some quotes for some motivation and I got this from Pinterest. So I will just link a Google Drive folder on the description box so you can check out the images I used on my Notion pages. Again, this is optional so it still depends on you if what images you want to put on your Notion page. So for my notes part in this Notion page, I will make a separate video in that so stay tuned but I will be giving you two options. So for the first option, you can simply make pages on each subject. So in here, just click slash and type in pages. So I'm just gonna add this toggle option for my groups, for our group works. I will add here a gallery table. So we'll just type slash and gallery and with this it has different options wherein it will let you show the content of that page or the cover of that particular page so here this is just an example and i will add the members so this is just a list of members for our group works so in the website indify.co it will give you different widgets for your notion page so the, just search indify.co or click the link below it will then ask you to log in so just again use your gmail account after you sign up you can now choose any widget that you want to put on your notion page they have different options here so i just use the countdown widget so after you choose a widget, copy the link, then go back to your Notion page, just press slash and embed, then you can paste there the link, slash and typing background, you can make a line to have a color background and it may act as a divider. By pressing slash and typing link, you can also put a web bookmark so that when you click that particular link, you can just easily open the web browser. So this is my template looks in my subject notes. Again, just stay tuned because I will be uploading how I take notes in Notion. I will show you how I make this so that you can make your own version too. So my second option in making notes in Notion, as what you've seen in my first part of the video, I make a gallery database for my notes. So to do that, just press slash and type gallery. Again, I will make a video on how I make my notes template. So you can search for some photos that depends on your theme. So in my case, I'm doing for some beach setup. So I just search some beach aesthetic pictures. So to show the photos, click properties and in the card preview, choose page cover. So just wait for about a second. And in here, you can see the page cover of that particular subject. And now let us proceed to my YouTube page. For the remaining pages, I will just show you an overview of how I made it. I'm not gonna go into details since I explained it on my academics page because if I did, this video will take an hour long, so... So again, I'm just gonna use the full width option for my page and just searching some quotes on Pinterest. And in here, I'm just gonna make a bunch of headings for my YouTube page, like my YouTube video ideas, my journeys on YouTube, and my thoughts on doing YouTube. So I guess you already know how to make those simple commands by clicking the slash button so in here i'm just gonna add a video checklist i often use here the code font for your databases you can you can add some properties and options this is just an example again don't worry because i will make a template 
on this one, I will link it on my description box. And you can also drag your pages or the lines inside the toggle. So I'm just gonna add this database. I'm just gonna put my subscriber milestones for 2020 and 2021. For the databases, Notion has two types, an inline database or a full page database. So for the inline, it will allow you to put a database within the page. But if you're gonna choose the full page, then it will allow you to make another page with that particular database. So Notion has table, board, gallery, list, calendar, and timeline database. So in here, I just decided to make a calendar database. So by doing that, just click again slash and type calendar or even cal. Notion can automatically know what type of command you want. So in here, I just added an archive page for my goals and video ideas so that I don't have to delete my completed goals or video ideas. So in here, I just make a template for my video ideas page so that I will not make this set up over and over again. So this is what it looks like. This is just a simple setup for my video ideas. So I will show you on how I made that template. So to make a template, Press slash and type advanced blocks. Next is choose the template button. Then just delete the built-in template. After that, just drag the page that you want to make a template. And you can name it. After that, click close. There you go, you have your own template. So in here, I'm just gonna add another database. I will name it my video ideas. I will just add some properties like the status of the video the date created so that is it for my youtube page next is let's proceed to my personal page so in here I already made the page because it's kind of self-explanatory it's just it's easy to make just click the slash button and just search for any command and here I just add a mood tracker page and some brain dump page I just edited the background so in my personal page I just put some reminders on myself and some movie and books recommendations and also I just put here a section of a note reminder to remind myself not to watch up until 3 a.m. yeah So this is pretty self-explanatory. I just add a database. So for my next Notion page, I will make this goals page. So I make here three columns for my ACADS personal YouTube. So this is my first option of making my goals page. So I just make use of this to-do lists and then I just added this Bible verse. I edited this one 
in Canva, this is how it looks like for my goals page. But another option that I can give to you is to make use of a database. And lastly is my dashboard page. So the first thing I did here is I just link my pages. So just type slash and click link to a page and select the page you want to link on your dashboard. So I just link all of my pages and I make use of the background color as my dividers. And then here you can also create a linked database wherein you can link the database that you've done on the other pages so it will show here on your dashboard or like your home page what is nice here is that you can also add a view on that particular database so you can either choose a list view a table view but i just use the table view so in here if what you did on that table that particular page it will also reflect on the table on its original place so in here i also link my goals and my to do's database so in here again i just embed the link of my countdown for the end of my second semester and for the database you can also filter them which is a good thing And I also added my notes database, which is the gallery database. So this is what it looks like. So I just arranged them in my dashboard. And I got this landscape whole paper from Pinterest. Again, I will link all of the pictures I used on my Google Drive link in the description box. So yes, this is what my dashboard looks like. So since we're done with the beginner's guide and making your Notion setup aesthetic, I will now show you my beige themed aesthetic Notion setup.